Happy May 4th everybody. Yes. Episode 3. I've been watching them since 7 this morning in the background. But can't have... Uh, you still enjoy lot, uh, Star Wars on lockdown, can't you? Right, chef, so today what I'm going to be doing is... I'm, uh, I'm at a point now in lockdown where I'm like... <clears throat> I just want something fresh, I just want something, something lighter than eating storge and meat and pasta and things like that. So I'm going to do uh, <clears throat> roasted cauliflower steak and I'm going to put a little bit of smoked shrieky bacon with it. Mainly because I've got this left in my fridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grill this so it's nice and crispy. And then I'm going to cut it into pieces. I'm going to use it as a crumb with some cheese on top of my cauliflower steak. So it's like a... A twist on a cauliflower cheese, really. Uh, and I'm going to serve that with uh, elite velouté. That can go in the grill. And I've got some celeriac that I'll do something with. Don't know yet. Right, so I've got some leeks. The important thing with a leek is to clean them or wash them out. So what we do is get us a leek, split it from the bottom up to the top. And then I'm going to trim it about there. Don't throw that away. That's great for stock if you're making stock while you're on lockdown. Uh, stocks are brilliant for making things like broths. And I also take off the first layer. And what I'm going to do now is wash all that mud out. Just running cold water. And then... I'm just going to cut this, roughly chop, it's going to be a, a velouté, so a velouté is like a light sauce slash soup. So I'm going to do that with the rest of my leeks. Right, so the rest of my leeks just been done by magic. What I've done is I've got a potato and I've just quickly peeled it and I'm just going to cut this. <clears throat> into little dice. Whenever you're doing anything like a soup or anything, the smaller you cut something, the quicker it'll cook. Now, the reason I'm using potato, when I said it's a leek velouté, is <clears throat> obviously we need to stay healthy and look after ourselves in this lockdown, which obviously, lacing this with butter, cream and all that stuff, uh, I'm trying to avoid, I'm trying to show you how to do something a bit healthier. So when you blitz this down with a little bit of potato in it, <clears throat> it will add that like thickened, creamy uh, texture to it that obviously we really like when we add loads of butter and cream to things. So I'm just gonna chop that down like so. And then I'm gonna start cooking. Right, so I'm just gonna put a pan, medium meat. And I'm gonna start by adding my leeks. I put a tiny bit of oil in them, when I say tiny, just a little glug out of the bottle, uh, just to start the sweating process of this off. Uh, I've also chopped up two cloves of garlic, you don't have to add garlic, it just adds that nice uh, flavour and aromats to it, as garlic does. <coughs> and then we're going to add a pinch of salt, just so that starts cooking down. Right, then some of the leeks, uh, they've been cooking for about five minutes, just softening up a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the potato. Some vegetable stock. I'm just going to cover it with water. And then I'm going to drop that down to a simmer, let that cook away for about half an hour. So, over to the collie. Right, so just a standard cauliflower. Uh, all I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to cut through the back and cut it in half. So technically we get like two like steaks sort of thing. 
Now, if you wanted to, you could cut this in quarters, but I'm just going to roast this like this, nice and big, like so. Right, so into my pan, splash of oil, and I put a bit of salt in. So I might season the pan as such. Cauliflowers, take these. I'm just gonna place it in the pan like that. I'm just gonna cook that to get some nice charred color on it. And then we're gonna turn it and finish cooking it that way. Right, so the cauliflower's in a couple of minutes. Just gonna turn this now. <laughs> Look at that. Right, so, I know I said this was going to be healthy. Uh, and it is. So, to my pan, I'm going a couple of cloves of garlic and a sprig of thyme, sprig of rosemary. Again, they're from my garden. If you don't have them, don't worry. And then some uh, full fat butter. Yeah. There's only one way to cook this, and that's lots of butter. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get that pan nice and hot get the butter going and we're going to base this cauliflower with the butter. Might need more butter. So you take the pan back keep basing your cauliflower with it and you'll find you get a real nice golden nutty colour on it. So I'm just going to carry on doing that for a few minutes and then I'll be back. So I'll just turn this over and I'm going to continue to base this side. Again. Get some colour on it, get that butter soaked into all the cauliflower, develop the flavour. Just treat it like you're cooking a steak, because technically you are. It's just cauliflower, not meat. Right, I'm now going to put that in the oven for about 25 minutes and I'll check it, see how cooked it is. If you need any longer, it'll go in even longer. If you've got an oven for a pan like mine, you can just put it in this. If not, remove it and put it on the tray. So I've just got my little bits of crispy bacon. All I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to chop them. Like so. And I'm just going to set this on a little bit of kitchen towel. Just to drain off any of the excess fat. That'll be sprinkled on my cauliflower later when I finish it off. Right, so the next part I'm going to do, I'm going to do some like celeriac fondant. So I'm going to start with an onion. I'm just going to cut this into thin slices. Don't worry about this being perfect, it's just going to act as aromats really. So this is going to go into this little dish here. So this is a celeriac if you've never seen one. Beautiful flavour to it. What I always do is I always start, I look where the like, roots are coming off and I always take a little cut off of there. Just so it sits flat. And then rather than messing with a peeler, I get a knife and I go round it like I'm segmenting an orange. I just take the skin off. Personally I just find it's easier than trying to get a peeler through that thick skin.
pop off. I find it looks a little bit neater as well. Right, so what I'm going to do with this, cut it in half, and half again, and if I were, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to trim these up, make it look a little bit more presentable, again, here we are at home, but there's no reason it can't look nice, I'm going to do nice big fondants with these, so, I've had to change my uh, oven dish as well, because the uh, other one I were a little bit small. So what we're going to do with this, we've got this fondant, we're going to take those onions and put them in this dish and that's going to be our mats. We can impart some flavour into that. Of a garlic, don't worry about skin, you're not going to eat this liquor. Pinch of salt. So, with this, I've got stock cube, and then I'm going to basically. Fill it halfway up, and then uh, obviously, because we're being really, really healthy, we're not going to put as much butter in. So I'm just going to put that much in, and obviously that'll flavour the top. What we're going to do is just start this. You can do this by getting a bit of colour on it first, but it's going to be in the oven a while, so it's going to get colour anywhere. Any of these big bits that are left over, put them in. They're still going to cook, you still eat them, nothing wrong with them. Like so. That can go in the oven. So now you've had 20 minutes in the oven, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a knife. And obviously the, the, the core bit is the hardest bit. Now, for me, that's perfect. I like my cauliflower to have a little bit of bite. It's nice and soft, Bob, so if you're going to do this at home, cook it how you like it. So I'm going to take that out, put it on a tray and just let it cool before I add the garnish to the top. Right, so what I've done with all my offcuts and my celeriac and my onion is I'm just boiling them up with a little bit of milk. <clears throat> Make a little puree for that, then I can put it on top of my uh, cauliflower later on. Just add a bit more moisture to it. So, <clears throat> just got a few chives, I'm just going to chop these as fine as possible and then they're gonna go onto my cauliflower along with the rest of my goodies in a minute <coughs> again chives and a nice flavor to it so got me collie take me chives nice little sprinkling of those on Now at this point, this can either go back in the oven, can go under the grill, or however you want to finish it. Got my bits of bacon. Just sprinkle these on. It's a classic example of this, are you are getting, using a little meat and getting a lot out of it because obviously this is just going to act as like a flavour and a texture. So it's not always about having a slab of meat on your plate. So that's that. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> cheese. So this is a microplane. It grates stuff very, very fine. 
Uh, cool thing about it is you think you've got a lot on, but you technically haven't. Good thing about it as well is as it melts, it melts a lot quicker because it's finer. So I've just got a little 50 gram block of cheese here and I'm just going to keep grating this over both of my cauliflowers. And obviously as this warms up later, when I put it in the oven, it'll all melt in through that, through the gaps in the cauliflower. Obviously, getting that nice flavour and texture. Right, so. Few more chives, just on the top. Whenever you put milk in something, keep your eye on it, chefs. Right, so the leeks and potatoes and that are cooked. What I like to do is I've got my little food processor thing here. I like to pass off a lot of the stock. Now, the reason why is I don't want it too wet. I can always add more if I need it in. But you can't take it out unless you blended it, if it's like wishy-washy water. So, that's that. So I've been blending that about five minutes. Well, maybe not, maybe three or four. It's a bit thick, so I am gonna add a little bit of stock in. And again, carry it on. So a little bit of stock's really added uh, <coughs> to the texture. It's nice and smooth. So what I need to do is just pass this off get rid of any stringy bits out of the leaks. Dogs off again. Obviously this will get nice and smooth. Any little bits and bats that you've got in there. So I finished passing my soup, that's all bits that's too big, or the strings from the leaks that won't pass through. And that's what you end up with. <coughs> nice smooth soup. Or sauce, however you want it to be. I see a little bit of seasoning. Salt. spot on. So in here my Solarex finished cooking. It's nice and soft, nice and tender. So what I'm going to do now is a little bit of butter in there. I've passed off all the liquid. Uh, you don't want no liquid in the puree if it's a vegetable puree that you're piping. Uh, obviously if it needs it because it won't blend you can add it. Stock I've done the solar racking, so we see the flavours in there. So I'll be honest, I think that's about as smooth as I can get it at home. It's not bad. If you haven't got one of these, you can just push it through a sieve. These funnels about halfway through, but still a bit hard, so I'm just going to keep them in there. Cool thing to keep doing is while they're in here, just get a little bit of that butter and just keep basting it back over the top. Just helps it go nice and golden. 
but I've just dropped my oven down to about 120 because I'm going to let them really slowly, slowly cook. Right, chef, so I've had that celeriac in for about two hours on 100 degrees. It's looking nice and built now. I've just put my cauliflower in. Um, obviously, just to cook that cheese off. So, yeah. Right, then, chef, so to play at this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a little bit of uh, puree. Again, I'm at home, so I don't expect nothing fancy. To that, I'm going to add some uh, celeriac fondant. Got me cauliflower. Then I've got some of my beautiful leek blue tea. We forgot any olive oil left. A little tiny bit. Not bad that for a veggie dish. 